Good Sunday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis. Excuse me while I get the camera set up here. Down here in the lower left-hand corner, for those of you watching on Periscope and Twitter. Also live on Google+, Plus, YouTube, and as many others as I can wire in for this morning. This is our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime for bright and early on Sunday morning. Coming to you again live from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. If you'd like to know more about what's going on with the weather, check out again our website up here wreg.com slash weather for your complete forecast also current conditions right here today's forecast right here and tonight's forecast right there so if you'd like to know more about what's going on all the information handily written here for you for this morning questions concerns ideas comments anything that you would like to see on here please let me know i can't feature stuff on here unless you tell me about them so please give me an idea as to what it is that you want to see on here we'll be glad to feature it whether it's weather around the world or more or climate data for the Mid-South or anything going on in the tropics for hurricanes like that. We'll be featuring a lot of that over the next several days and weeks, but if there's something more you want to see of in the next several days and weeks, please let us know and we'll do our best to get those taken care of. Next several hours, if you are going to be heading out the door pretty soon, notice again here the wind speeds today are going to be quite breezy out of the south at about 19 miles per hour. They're not doing too bad right now, but throughout the rest of the day today we will be seeing some of those breezy winds at about maybe 15 miles per hour by the time we hit about early to mid morning and into early to mid afternoon or so. And those winds will continue right on in through the rest of the day. There is a wind advisory posted for everything west of the Mississippi River for this morning. So winds of about 30 miles per hour, wind gusts or so. The sustained winds that you see right here uh, in the red bar at this point in time. Uh, weather report coming in from Demi Papa, hope I'm saying, or Demi Papa UK. Didco, let's see, so Didcot, Oxfordshire in England. Wow, okay, cool. Being an Anglophile, that is very, very cool to uh, uh, see something like that going on. So thank you very much for, for reporting that. And welcome to the show from across the pond, if I'm saying that correctly as well. Numbers again throughout the rest of the day today, again, quite mild back in the mid to upper 70s. Should be a little bit above normal for this time of the year. So again, looking pretty good. Share our video again around so everybody can get a pretty good idea as to what's going on with weather in the Mid-South. View from Washington, D.C. Inside the Beltway, we've got the sunlight reflecting off the Potomac River and looking across the area toward the Capitol building. If you'd like to see more from the National Park System, all you have to do is go to nps.gov or National Park Service, I should say, or follow the hashtag FindYourPark on Twitter to find out more about what's going on. And there are Mike Jenkins, 3002. Thank you very much for the very kind words on there. Thank you very much, and thank you very much to everybody else who's uh, joining us on here as well. Numbers across the area, again, looking pretty nice this morning. Again, a few clouds around Purchase Knob from the Great Smoky Mountains and also a National Park System webcam available. And follow that hashtag, find your park. Germantown, just outside of Memphis, and looking back toward the towers of East Memphis, the water tower right across from Germantown Parkway out there, and numbers Again, back in the area and again back into about the mid to upper 50s. Notice the winds already out of the south at about 12 miles per hour. So looking at some pretty windy conditions out there already and those winds will continue throughout the course of the rest of the day. Here's where we get into the forecast. Again, through today, today we're looking at numbers on the warm side already. Pardon me while my camera begins to freak out once again this does this every once in a while to where you click a button once too often and the system decides to just go all over the place here's what it looks like again for the rest of the day by mid to late morning temperature live net casting it happens believe it or not mid to upper 60s by the time we hit late this morning early this afternoon this is where we see again numbers back in the lower 70s across much of the area already and continuing again to see some fairly breezy winds out there. This is where the winds will be at their greatest later this afternoon. The wind advisory goes into effect at 10 o'clock this morning and remains in effect until 7 o'clock tonight. So expect some fairly breezy conditions out there. That's going to help to keep the temperatures up as those winds continue to make their way back up out of the south at about 15 to 30 miles per hour. So we're looking at numbers quite breezy, but it should be a very pleasant rest of the weekend coming up. No major problems for outdoor activities. Getting 
uh, the kids out for a picnic, that stroll around the block, yard work, yeah, I got a guilty as charged. I got to get that done for later on today, so think about that uh, at this point in time. Temperatures again through this evening around sunset, back into the mid to upper 70s or so, and by News Channel 3 at 10, temperatures should be dropping a bit into the mid to upper 60s across much of the Mid-South. Now, tomorrow morning, it won't be quite as cold as it was yesterday morning with all that frost around. We should be seeing, again, temperatures back in the upper 50s to the lower 60s. That's not too totally terrible, but once again, remember that these numbers that you see here, this is going to again be uh, fairly chilly if the kids are going to be waiting out in the bus stop in just shirt sleeves so a jacket would be a very good idea and again something to think about if you're going to be heading out the door uh, early tomorrow morning for that jog or stroll around the block welcome to everybody who's just tuning in on uh, per periscope and twitter if you've got any questions about the forecast or if you got a report from your location drop it into the comments section we'll uh, pass those around out there severe weather threat for today is going to be well to our west we're just not seeing that much going on where we are but the main threat back into around areas of the Midwest. Laser Chick 22 for San Antonio. Uh, not that much going on at this point. Looks pretty quiet where it comes to severe weather, so definitely good news on that. Severe weather threat for tomorrow for San Antonio. That's going to be a bit of a problem, but that's going to be well away from the News Channel 3 viewing area out across much of the area. Uh, Kamal, Kamal Diamond 3. Yeah, I'll try to get as many replies to this as I can, but we try to focus in on our area if at all possible. Charlotte, North Carolina from, I missed the name on there, flying by very quickly. Also, again, no severe weather taking place. And Grant, Grant B1101, Williston, uh, North Dakota, also not seeing anything in the way of severe weather at this time. Severe weather forecast can be found at spc.noaa.gov. Uh, weather in Rio have to check the international forecast with the World Meteorological Organization. Here in the Mid-South, we're going to be watching again for the possibility of anything involving uh, severe weather limited at this point, which is definitely good news. But at this time of the year, we have to pay attention to stuff like that. For the Mid-South area, West Tennessee, North Mississippi, and back into Eastern Arkansas, this is our prime time for severe weather. So this is the time to make sure that you got to pay attention to the weather forecast and notice exactly uh, what is going on into the area there. Mike Jenkins, 3002. Yes, the FedEx hub is here uh, in Memphis, and I know several of the meteorologists uh, down at the FedEx Weather Center on Airways Boulevard. Incredible place to take a look at right there so a great opportunity to see more rest of the forecast again through today mostly sunny here in the mid-south area and memphis again looking at temperatures pushing about 80 degrees for later on today sunny and very warm across much of the area and continuing to see some of those windy conditions out there through the day should be pretty breezy right on into early tomorrow morning as well so that could be something to think about if you're going to be heading the kids out to the school bus stop early on monday increasing clouds throughout the rest of the day out there and that again is where we're going to be seeing the possibility of dry weather basically coming to an end Tuesday. More chances of showers and thunderstorms heading into the Mid-South as we get throughout the rest of the day on Tuesday. If you have any outdoor plans, may want to think about getting some indoor plans to replace those just to be on the safe side. I don't think it's going to be a total washout. We're looking at about a 60% coverage chance for much of the area, but still a good idea to make certain you have something indoors to make certain everybody's protected from those storms that are coming on through. Now the system that is going to be again the uh, possibility of sticking around it's going to be moving into the mid-south the storm system moving in from the west coast and then it kind of parks itself over us doesn't really move too quickly so it's going to be sticking around that gives us the chance of showers and thunderstorms minimal chances but still possible as we go throughout the next several days so thinking about this uh, again for anything involving outdoor activity these, that is going to be something that you're going to need uh, to keep, again, safe out there. Just have something ready to go indoors. Remember, when thunder roars, go indoors. It's more than just a catchphrase. It can save your life, so let's all be careful out there where we come into anything involving the weather across much of the Mid-South, so please keep that in mind. If you'd like to get our weather app, it's available at our app store. Whatever platform, whatever device you've got, search WREG Weather. And you can find out a little bit more about what's going on with the weather in the Mid-South area and keeping you updated on that. Plus, you can tune into the East Arkansas Broadcast Network, either on air or online, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. You can catch our complete forecast available there and also available on many social media networks, so please keep it tuned uh, for more information on that. We'll be updating this again at WRAG.com slash weather with more of uh, the information about the forecast throughout the numbers of the rest of the day. Fairly warm 
program for today. We'll also have an update on News Channel 3 right in the middle of daybreak, so tune in either on air or online. Myself and my co-anchor Nina Harrelson on the air with the rest of the forecast coming up, and I'll be on right after the sports segment here in just a few minutes. And of course, you can email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onic. Thanks to everybody for tuning in and surfing in on Periscope and Twitter, and stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the course of the rest of the weekend, and we'll keep you updated.